Hello everyone, welcome back or welcome to my channel. My name is Lauren and I make videos a couple of times a week about books and fandomy things. So February is actually LGBTQ plus history month so I wanted to talk about some books that are non-fiction LGBTQ plus books about different points in history. I think it's really important to talk about these as well because of the history of everything and I also think it's really important to take into consideration that we are really really lucky that there are certain things that are our like, history at the minute that so many people are lucky to live somewhere where being gay, being illegal is history and not a reality and going to prison is history and not a reality and I want to just say before I talk about these books is that it's really important to remember that for some people that's not history yet it's still a reality there's just over 70 countries in which it is still illegal to even be gay let alone to get married to someone of the same sex that's still an illegal thing there are awful things still going on in the world to people that are LGBTQ+. There are still conversion therapies and conversion camps. People are being killed, people are being attacked, people are being disowned and people are suicidal and that is still happening in so many places and it's terrifying and I think it's only right to talk about the fact that whilst so many of these books and whilst this month is very important because oh my god the world has come so far from what it was like. Stonewall was only 50 years ago last year, 51 years ago this year, and so much has changed since then, and so much has changed over time, and that's amazing and so, so wonderful, and yes, it needs to be spoken about, but I also want people to realise that in another 50 years' time, what is today, someone's very awful reality needs to also become history and there is still so so much work to be done because it's not complete yet and it's not all history yet. So I wanted to talk about that before I talk about these books because I think that's just as important to think about this month. So firstly the first book I want to talk about is From Prejudice to Pride by Amy LaMay and this is all about the history of the LGBTQ plus movement of Stonewall, of how civil rights came into play and where that sort of started and the things that kick-started that. This has personal histories of LGBTQ plus people and it also looks at the aid crisis, Stonewall like I said, and also the whole lavender scare situation that went on which for those that don't know was when people were being dismissed from their jobs because of their sexuality and the kind of entire outrage situation that came from America and then how LGBTQ plus people were treated because of this and everything that happened with that. This was a really really important one. The title was the thing that actually drew me in the first time because obviously it is a play on Pride and Prejudice but I liked the way that it was Prejudice to Pride and that it shows where this started and the history and everything that people have experienced since then and the people that fought so that there are so many of us that are very lucky to this day with how the world and I think it's also really important to be reminded that Stonewall was a riot that's what it started out as I think it's really easy now to see Pride as a like really happy party parade but actually it's a riot and that's what it started as so um, I think that's really important to take into account and always remember as well then following on from that we have the Stonewall Reader by Jason Bauman and this is all about this came out last year when it was 50 years since Stonewall and this is all about what happened and how Stonewall came about and what impact that had on the world now and the world then and all of the wonderful things and people that were in that initial riot. This is full of articles and diaries, pieces of literature, personal accounts and so many other things surrounding those rights and I think because we hear about them and people talk about them and last year it was, it's been 50 years since then but I think it's really good to know what that was and what people were actually fighting for and how everything came about um, in the Stonewall Inn in New York City so I think there's a lot of information that a lot of people don't know and I think it's really good to read about it and know about it as well. Then we have This Book Is Gay by Juno Dawson. This is a more modern one looking at more recent histories and personal accounts but again like I said things are still 
being fought, things are still very, there are still very harsh realities for a lot of people. And I love that this book looks at those personal accounts and looks at different people and their experiences. But this is one of the books that I first read where I found out about how the scope of things are still so very illegal in so many places and it's terrifying and this was one of the books that really opened my eyes to that and made me be like oh my god there is still so much to be done because I think if you live somewhere where there is still discrimination and there is still things going on but ultimately existing is legal as it should be uh gay marriage is legal you sort of think you know there are pride parades celebrated every year in different towns all over you think okay well that's you know you don't think you, you sort of see your your little bubble and I think it's really important to think outside of that bubble and this book really opened my eyes to that even like <laughs> I don't think it's in this but even I found out that, that being gay was still illegal in some states in America until like 2003 like are you joking that's insane that's so not that long ago and I think things like that are important to think about and like I said this book really was eye-opening for me in that sense. We have Trans Britain Our Journey Out of the Shadows by Christine Burns. It's actually edited by Christine Burns. She has put together lots of different accounts and diaries and articles and all of that with the history of transgender people in Britain and sort of the journey of that coming out, everything that sort of come from that and, and the history of that and I think that's also just as important to think about as well is that I think loads of people think about like where gay rights started and all of that and I feel a lot like transgender histories and everything and the fight that they still have that's still very prominent can be forgotten about sometimes but I think it's important to think about the history of all the different letters in the LGBTQ plus acronym. I think that's just as important because there's so many histories of people, of places, all these experiences that have been had over which have which have led to today's society and how things are treated in today's society but in societies all over the world as well. I think that's just as important. Then we have Pride by Matthew Todd. I really want to own a physical copy of this book. I've I've read it. Uh, I got it out of the library. Uh, it's beautiful but it's massive and expensive. Um, but it is absolutely gorgeous. It's this massive big rainbow book. I think I might ask for it for my birthday but it's huge. Um, and that is again it came out last year in celebration of 50 years of Stonewall and again it's lots of information about it. It's more of like a coffee table book this one but there's lots of pictures lots of things in it and really good things to read about and learn about as well and finally we have when brooklyn was queer by hugh ryan now i'm gonna admit <laughs> i didn't know about this book and then i read um a whole thing on tumblr i don't have tumblr anymore but when i had tumblr i read this whole thing on tumblr about this book and the history of Brooklyn and as someone that has spent a lot of time in New York I really love Brooklyn it's one of my favorite places I was reading this thing and they were talking about uh Brooklyn and then someone started talking about Stephen Bucky and how Brooklyn had this massive like queer history and how that would fit perfectly into the Stephen Bucky narrative from the Marvel films because that's where they grew up in wartime you know and I was like this is hilarious and I love this to pieces that someone's made this reference but also what is this book this is really interesting so I downloaded it on my kindle because this was quite late at night and this is the sort of history of but the forgotten history of I guess more so than anything because it's things that aren't spoken about from the 1800s not even like from the 1900s or a bit later than that it's the 1800s um and Brooklyn's entire kind of vibrancy and and everything about it that made the, that there's so many queer people in it and the wonderful history of that and how everything sort of came about with that and its history which I think is really important if you've ever been to Brooklyn you will know what a wonderful place it is and how fab it is and how just so welcoming it is it's honestly one of my favorite places in New York and it makes me really sad when people visit New York because I know that you want to do all the touristy things because of course you do but I think that New York has some real hidden gems which people don't necessarily 
always think about they people don't really tend to leave manhattan if they are there on a holiday or something which is you know fair enough because uh, you want to see times square and you want to see statue of liberty and like it's absolutely fine but um i really really recommend traveling outside of manhattan if you're there and brooklyn and queens are two wonderful places that are very vibrant and wonderful um and this book really captures brooklyn's history in that sense and the kind of things about it that people have forgotten about over the years. So yeah, so that are some of my favourite non-fiction LGBTQ plus history books that I wanted to share with you guys. Please, please leave your own recommendations in the description down below. Some books you thought were really important, really good and shed some light on some really, really, really wonderful and important and even awful parts of history, you know, part of this fight, it's still going on and there's horrible things that are people had to deal with in order to get basic rights to exist and it oh my god it just about like oh my, i can't I, if i talk about it too much it gets me angry that people literally have to fight for their right to exist and that people are still fighting for their right to exist i hate it i hate it so much i've spoken about conversion therapy and how i think about that but yeah so i wanted to share these with you guys because i think these are really really good and important reads obviously there's so many more so like i said leave your own recommendations in the comments down below thank you for watching like i said if you guys are new here then i make videos about books and fandom things a couple of times a week so feel free to hit that subscribe button and come and join us and as usual all the links to all my other social medias are in the description down below thank you for watching i hope you're doing really 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 well and i will see you next time goodbye Thank you.